so guys i can't believe this because i have just started consistently saving in my binance and i'm proud to say that i have so far made four dollars right there um, which is 0 0.0001378 btc but i'm excited i can't wait to see how much my savings will have accrued in interest and passive income in the next six months i'll probably update you guys but i'm super super excited guys like my crypto is actually actually earning me interest how cool so if you have not started saving on binance please this is your chance and i have a three-step process that you should consider step one you need to sign up an account on binance step two you need to buy some crypto on binance and step three you need to immediately jump on flexible savings and start making passive income on your assets so are you ready okay let's get it let's get into this video guys hi guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is olive security and this is olive security rebranded so in today's video guys we're going to be talking about binance you all know you all know when the t-shirt is out the information is out okay and i hope you all are excited from the title of this video we're going to be talking about how to earn or how to make an extra income using your crypto on binance through a platform known as savings but first i know you all have been seeing the crypto markets the markets are taking a small dive because like we always say as much as a market can go up it can also go down so i know your food is salty i know chocolates are not sweet anymore i know life feels a bit chilly but this is a market and we have to go through the times guys however i hope you do know that when the markets are red you need to be greedy and you need to be stocking up on your favorite coins as much as you can and i feel like during this time this video would come in handy because as much as the markets are not doing so well there is a way we can leverage this as we dca and as we keep buying some cryptos how can we um not just look at our cryptos you know fluctuate in terms of their value but how can we earn an extra income from them and guess what this is what this video is going to be talking about so first of all if you are new on my channel new to this video new to crypto new to binance please visit my playlist i have several playlists that can help you and guide you through this journey so i'll add you to first start there once you've created your account and you secured it you've bought a few coins you know i have videos that will help you maybe buy btc buy ETH using p2p actually it's a video for that you can now use this video to help you earn an extra income from your investments okay there is a section on binance called binance earn and binance earn is a segment that allows you to earn against your crypto assets so as your crypto assets are sitting idle in your wallet there is a way you can actually put them to work and have extra money coming from them let me give you guys something that's closer to home so for example where i am in kenya africa there is a platform that we can save money on it's called mshari so mshari is a place where you can put some money and you can earn a small interest and you can withdraw it at any time within mshari there is locked mshari and what locked mshari does you can lock your money for a certain period of time and you're going to garner in more interest guess what guys this is a principle that's also working with your crypto assets on binance you can actually open a flexible savings account and put your assets there to make you some passive income and whenever you feel the need to withdraw them you have the leeway to withdraw them at any time but there is also a locked savings account whereby you can lock your savings there and for a certain period of time it could be three months six months nine months and you will be paid for that period as well so obviously the locked one has a bit more interest because you're literally telling the savings platform i don't need this money for now just lock it and let me earn some interest so if this is something you're vibing with i want you to stay till the end of this video so that you know how you can incorporate this for your crypto assets also if you already enjoyed this video guys please smash the thumbs up comment down below which coin you're excited to put to work and let me show you guys the interest rates that are available so we're going to talk 
talk about what are savings how does the savings platform ideally work i'm gonna show you guys a step-by-step -step tutorial on that what are the benefits of saving in crypto as compared to traditional fiat systems look at the special yield or special offers that are there for different coins okay and finally just the advantages of this whole process so guys stay till till the end stay till till the end i got some tea and yeah let's get into the Hi. video welcome to my phone we are now about to go through the whole saving process when you enter your binance homepage, right you click on more when you click on more you can scroll down until you see an an icon called earn so now we had common function gift and campaign trade then earn so you can see we have now reached earn in this video we're going to be focusing on savings so you're gonna click savings and when you're here you're going to see at the top there is flexible there's locked and there's auto invest so if you don't know what auto invest is i actually have a video on my channel how binance bought for me crypto in less than a second you watch that video so that you understand how auto invest ideally works but for this video we're going to be talking about flexible and locked savings so what is flexible savings basically here you're subscribing your crypto to earn an interest and it's called flexible because you do have the flexibility to redeem your funds at any particular time you can see different coins there's s infinity a excess um percentage of 20 percent there is busd there is cake and if you scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll you're going to see more coins and more of the offers that are being given okay and then when you come to locked right when you click locked now here you're locking your cryptocurrency you're committed to holding your cryptocurrency for a specific period of time and you are ideally going to get high return so if you see flexible x infinity was giving you 20 percent but on locked it's giving you 25 so that is the difference between flexible and locked you get the interest based on the days you decided to lock the longer days you lock the higher interest you get okay so i want to show you guys how to do this you must have your cryptos in your spot wallet for you to be able to subscribe so when you come to your home page right and you come to, to wallets if you have bought your cryptos here in funding and you've used my video on the channel how to buy btc on p2p your btc is seated idle in your funding wallet right you have some money there what i'm going to add you to do is transfer this money from btc to spot so what you're going to do is you're going to come here and say transfer and you're going to move it from funding to spot wallet so you can click this icon here at the end to swap between the two transferring funding to spot so let's just transfer everything which is the entire 50 dollars that i have in my funding so click confirm transfer so now what happens your funding wallet will be zero right but when you go to spot come to btc you can see that we have transferred btc here worth 49 point seven nine we have just transferred it from p2p and now to spot so now you can transfer this into your savings account for you to earn the five percent interest rate that binance is giving you you can one go back to the savings platform or you can just click here binance earn when you click binance earn you see the flexible savings is the first option and you'll just click there and it'll bring you here automatically so you can start from your spot wallet to your flexible savings account or you can just go to the flexible savings account and go to btc so once you're here right you click subscribe and this is one of the reasons why i like saving in crypto guys you will see how much interest rate i'll be making every day based on this amount that i have deposited today so i'll just click max right and you can see here that guys i've put max this amount and binance is telling me your estimated interest is 0 0.000000 104 btc per day it's calculated based on the total subscription so you just click i have read and agreed to the binance saving service agreement click confirm and boom you have now subscribed you can see that i've subscribed and the money has been deducted from my 
my spot wallet so when you come here you can't even see btc anymore on the list so please note when you subscribe to any savings account you will not see your money anymore in your spot wallet it will not be there go to the far end the column called earn and then when you come to earn and then i'll just choose here that i want to see btc so you can see that i've selected flexible savings so far this is the interest that you have accrued you can even click there to see more so total amount i've invested accruing interest today's subscription and then it'll just keep adding okay and you can even see that i'm still auto subscribe and you can read down here interest is distributed daily and the principal is returned to the spot after you redeem so if i click redeem i'll get back this amount my total amount which is my accruing interest plus my today's subscription so I bought some usdt and i want to show you how you can subscribe to locked savings so now because we've topped up our usdt and now i clicked fixed savings right you can see that the USDT annualized rate for 30 days is available for 5%. And if you look at flexible, let's see how much it is. So actually flexible is slightly higher. I wonder why, but um, let's just do this one so that we see how it's done. So you click subscribe. And now because I've added more money in my USDT account portfolio, you can see that it's saying I have one lot available. So guys, remember what I what it was showing us earlier? I didn't have enough money to save on the locked account because my USDT was not reaching 100, but now it has. And it's saying I have one lot available, so I just put one. Because one lot is 100 USDT. So if you have more money, it'll tell you you have two lots. If you have like $1,000, it's going to say you have 10 lots. And then it's annualized my interest um, to 0 0.4 USDT. So I guess that's what I'm, get, I'm going to get in the next 30 days. 0 0.4 USDT is a high, is ideally a 41 shillings around there, right? 41 shillings. So you see what I mean by guys, the more money you have in crypto, the more interest you're going to make. Subscribed um, 19th May, I'm going to get my rewards 19th June. So it's not so bad. I mean, it's not so bad. So if you had like a thousand USDT, you'd be getting like at least four USDT if I'm not wrong, but you guys get the drift. Auto renew whereby once the 30 days are over instead of the money going back to sit in your spot wallet doing nothing you return it like the binance will just return it back <laughs> uh, to the locked account for you to make some more money so you can click auto renew i have read and agreed to the binance savings service agreement and boom i have now subscribed 100 usdt for 30 days and I will be making 0.4 USDT. When you go back to sports, my tether is only $3.95 available. You just go to earn at the top there. And then instead of all holdings, you can just say, I want to see my fixed savings. And my fixed savings are the ones that are locked. And it's showing you that so far I have locked two coins. But the one that's of more interest is USDT. And it's showing that I have locked 100 USDT. And my estimated interest is 0 0.410 so you can always toggle that place if i want to see maybe my flexible savings you click there if you want to see locked savings you click there and if you want to see specific coins and not all these other coins you change that there so ideally guys that is pretty much how you subscribe to money so ideally the savings account on binance is guaranteed so even when the markets are going down you're still going to be earning on the crypto assets that you have saved either on the flexible or the locked account but there is zero risk and that's why i said it's a guaranteed situation and the zero risk comes in because it's actually a savings platform you are putting your money and binance is rewarding you an extra interest for putting your money in their savings platform if you've chosen the flexible savings and you really need this money maybe to do or clear things in your life there is immediate redemption even if you've put your money in the locked savings product or the locked savings account and you still need your money immediately there is still an option for you to ask for an immediate redemption 
all that will happen is Binance will not give you the entire interest rate for the locked period because you did not fulfill the locked period that you had earlier stated. So it would be best if you waited for the locked period to end for you to redeem your money. So I want to just talk about something that I didn't talk about and it's when you go to more and then you go to earn which I've showed you guys how you can get to and then you go to savings. There's a few things I'd like to just give you guys a heads up. One is the are FAQs there, click on that and read more about the Binance Savings products, APY. APY is annual per yield, annualized per yield, basically. Um, I'll show you how to calculate it. An APY tier rate is basically you get a certain percentage based on the amount of crypto you have of that token. Basically, they reward you a better APY if you have less. They don't want to give you so much interest rate if you have too much of that token. So if you look at X Infinity, um, if you are in tier three where you have so many tokens, over twenty of them, they only give you one percent interest. How do you calculate the APY essentially? So let me let's go to your calculator. So let's say X Infinity has twenty percent APY. It's just um, very simple. Twenty percent, right? Of let's say you're going to invest a hundred dollars that means you're going to be given twenty dollars the whole year so your investment of a hundred dollars at the end of the year will be one twenty dollars divided by 12 months you're going to get a dollar <laughs> right a dollar and a dollar point six so basically you divide that by 30 days this is how many dollars you're getting per day 0 0.053 so ideally, when Binance tells you this is your interest per day, it doesn't tell you in dollars, it tells you based on the crypto. So now you just have to convert this amount of dollars and convert it to S-Infinity. So for example, if one S-Infinity is, I don't know, let's say X, how much will 0.05 dollars be of that S-Infinity? So probably 0. something, something, something. That's all I wanted to tell you guys. I believe I've showed you APY, what it means, how to calculate it, the APY tier rate, what exactly auto subscribe is, where you can visit the FAQs, and even on the locked section, it works the same. So if you can see here, it's written annualized interest rate, and there are different days, 7 days, 30 days, 60 days. Some even have 90. I just, yeah, like you see here, Jasmine has 90 days. And let's say you want to remove it. When you click transfer to flexible, it gives you a warning that one, you will not receive interest from the locked savings products once you accept the transfer. And that's what I was saying. Even if you've put into a locked account, you can still redeem your money immediately. Two, the flexible product will be allocated to your savings account the same day of the transfer. So once I accept the transfer, the locked money will enter my flexible account in 24 hours. And then you can redeem them right after. So you can move them from locked to flexible to now back to your spot. And then three interest gained will start accruing tomorrow. So let's say they transfer them today in my flexible savings, but I don't redeem them. The following day is when now my interest will start accruing in the flexible as well. So if I put the lot here and click confirm transfer, I have opted out of locked. And now I am moving them from locked into flexible. Okay. So that's what I meant by you can redeem your money at any time, okay? So if it's in locked, it'll be moved to flexible. Then if you're in flexible, it'll just be moved to your spot. Let's say we are trying to redeem from the flexible. When you click redeem on your flexible, they'll give you two options, the first redemption or the standard redemption. So basically the first redemption, you will not be given the interest for that day, right? Because it's, you want it immediately. So you're like opting out as soon as possible. But then if you see here with standard, they're saying the redeemed quantity will be returned on 20th May, which is the next day. And you're still going to be entitled to the, to the day's interest. So it just depends on how immediate you want the money. If you want the money fast, 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 just choose fast. You'll get it immediately. If you want the money but not that fast, you will just give them a few hours so that they 
tally your interest for the day then they will redeem it back to your account video. i really do hope that when you guys have been able to save any crypto that you might have bought that you might have had in your wallet and it was just idle sitting there doing nothing i hope this video has showed you step by step on how you can be able to earn passive income on your savings okay on your crypto and i have left the onr binance earn link down below if you have not started saving your cryptos using the flexible savings savings and locked savings account please click the link down below if you have not created an account yet it's as easy as logging in or registering a new account and then once you've been able to purchase crypto you can now push it to the binance iron or the flexible savings locked savings product so the idea is step one is you create an account on binance and <coughs> make sure you've secured it step two is buy crypto guys use again onr's link in the description box or in the comment section buy your first crypto especially now because the markets are doing so bad this is like your one in a million chance for you to be able to get in and buy some crypto so definitely buy some you can use p2p if you are unfamiliar with how this works i have a video on how you can do that and then once you've bought your cryptos from p2p i'm sure that your cryptos are in your funding wallet proceed to move my cryptos to the binance iron and an extra income so guys it's as easy as that i hope you guys have signed up already and if you did enjoy this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to comment down below and don't forget to sign up with the binance iron otherwise guys i want to tell you bye remember to start where you are use what you have and do what you can i love you guys bye see you on the next one <laughs>